Hi guys, welcome to video 4.2. We're going to continue to look at the val um, relationships between the digits of decimal numbers. And we are back on page 35 at your magnifying glass. You can see it right there on the screen. And you see that we have this number four hundredths is 10 times as much as four thousandths. Four hundredths is 10 times as much as four thousandths. So what two numbers are we comparing? Obviously, we're comparing four hundredths and four thousandths, right? And so we can use our place value chart that we have right there, and we can add some dots to our place value chart. Okay, so go ahead and put in four hundredths. That would be four dots here. Let's see, can I add my stickers? That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, let's see. Okay, four hundredths. Oh, my stickers are going to be very large if I do it that way. Um, <laughs> well, there's four hundredths. That's kind of funny. And then I'm going to pick up a different sticker for four thousandths. Okay, and you can see it over here as well, four hundredths and four thousandths. But the stickers are kind of fun. Okay, so four hundredths and four thousandths, you have your dots, make sure you're putting them in there so that your notes are complete when you're ready for your mastery check. And we can see the relationship there is four thousandths times 10 is going to give us four hundredths, right? So when we move to our left on our place value chart, we're multiplying by 10, just like we did when we had uh, ones and tens and hundreds, right? 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1,000. Well, 1,000th times 10 is 100th, all right? So 4 hundredths and 4 thousandths. Now, um, how, what do we get when we multiply 4 thousandths by 10? We're going to get 4 hundredths, right? And we notice that they share a column, that they're right next to each other, so that means we're just multiplying by 10 to go from one to the other. Okay, now we need to write an equation that shows that. You can see that right there in part B. And our equation would be 4 hundredths is equal to 10 times 4 thousandths. So that's kind of showing it in this language. 4 hundredths is 10 times as much as 4 thousandths. 4 hundredths is 10 times as much as 4 thousandths. Okay, so please write it that way in your book on page 35. Okay, excellent. Now let's go on to number three. Remember, if you ever need to pause the video, you can do that. I'm going to try and clear the screen here, get rid of all those happy faces. Maybe I can do that. There. There we go. Okay. And let's look at number three. All right. Number three says, and you have it right there in your book on the back of page 35, page 36. Three thousandths is one tenth as much as three hundredths. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did before. We're going to put our dots. Go ahead and put three dots under the thousandths and three dots under the hundredths. So we can see the relationship between the two. Okay, and you can see, I have mine here, three hundredths and three thousandths. So each thousandth is one tenth of a hundredth, right? Remember our, um, our area model where we showed our thousandths is little teeny pieces, right? There's 10 of those in each hundredth. So three hundredths times one tenth is equal to three thousandths. And there we have our equation as well. Three thousandths, going to do it exactly the way they have it in the words. Three thousandths is one tenth as much as three hundredths. Three thousandths is one-tenth as much as three-hundredths. Okay, so that was number three, and we're seeing how our equation is showing what we're doing in our place value chart, and we're seeing the relationship between the digits next to each other. If we're going to the right, we're multiplying by one-tenth, and if we're going to the left, 
we're multiplying by 10. All right, I'll see you in our next video. That will be the last video of Lesson 4. Good luck.